Paraplan. And then more. <laughs> oh, many of them. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I think by the time we're sort of ready to go, they'll be, they'll be mm -hmm. there. So one, two, three, four, five, I think, and one just touching down there. Oh, six actually. Looking quite high up. Yeah, it's just, yes, get yourself ready to start. There's one quite high up mm. that may take a uh -huh. couple of minutes to yeah. get down. He seems to be just enjoying the view, I think. Mm -hmm. And there's the, the actual drop plane to... Uh, So I, yeah, just, I would mm -hmm. full aileron all the way back, full aileron the other way, and then you've sort of covered all the corners of the, mm -hmm. of the envelope, haven't you? Okay. So you uh, Must alternator switch, rotating beacon, fuel select, lowest tank. Okay, right, it is right now. Fuel pump check. Yes, carburetor heat check. Ionics off, switches off, circuit breakers. In start check, mixture H, throttle one open, no primes, I guess. I wouldn't have thought so, no. Mm -hmm. So, okay. looks like one more parachutist, I think. Okay, uh, yes. Oh, it's, a, it's got it's two people, it's like uh -huh. one of those tandem things. So. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll make start. Yeah, by the yes. time you've started and all this so... Clear you... prop!
Each airplane different. I, I need to have one here. Yes, I know what you mean. Okay. Right. So it is on KFE now and um, QNH on QNH there, so I think that's fine. So I leave it this way. Okay, that's already for taxi checks. Okay. So I think if we uh, if we taxi over and you can sort of pull onto the uh, the taxi when it's going off there, just swing round and make sure there's nothing behind us. So if you point the aeroplane in that direction, uh, we can do the power checks over there. Then we're out of the way if anyone else okay. is coming past. I think all we can do on the grass is the other option. I don't know where this yellow Piper Cub, it might be that's taxiing back around the grass actually, so thinking about it. So maybe we go on the grass. So it's just bumped up onto the taxiway, go down a bit and then swing round on the grass, sort of just the other side of this. So on the grass near the junction? I think okay. so, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Maybe, yeah, no, stay on the tarmac, I think. If that yellow thing comes back, it can just taxi over the grass. So if you swing round and face exactly the opposite way, then all our prop wash will, uh, that won't blow on the... Uh Could be. Okay, I think, I don't think there's anyone behind us.
I'd suggest you sort of look over fields to the right, but look on both sides and see what's what, and then, uh -huh. you know, one, so pitch it in, lower the nose, 75 knots, and then we'll climb away. Uh -huh. Okay, and if you, so, having done that, just head out to the north, and we'll go and find some fields out to the north. Six north this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just Hinton traffic, Golf Ruby Kilo, lining up 06. Uh, Hinton traffic, what, what, what? The radio call is yeah. Hinton traffic, Golf Ruby Kilo, lining up. Uh, lining up, Lining okay. up on uh, 06 hard. Lining up, I see. Mm -hmm. Hinton traffic, Golf Bravo, Oscar Romeo Kilo, lining up, uh, runway 06.
you look down here, you can see there's a row of pylons running away from you, but you can see marks on the ground, uh -huh. which are actually a bit clearer than the pylons themselves, really, so... Uh, uh -huh. okay. It's just a, you know... Uh -huh. I need to realize this at people. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. The, yeah, I mean, as I say, it's, uh, it's usually easier to see the marks on the ground rather than the pilots themselves, so it's quite useful. Uh, something to bear in mind. So if we climb to feet on the uh, UNH, then we've got two and a half thousand feet above the ground pretty well, haven't we? We're about 500 feet here. Um, so we'll see if we can uh, spot a decent field to... Uh, so, wind is more or less from the east, so I'll put the heading bug on, on east, so... Uh, I don't see it even now. No. Well, we, let's tell you what. Let's fly a, around it. Let's because we're quite we're into wind. Mm -hmm. Two and a half thousand feet. We're nearly there. So uh, let's fly a circuit around it, and you'll see them when we get down quite low. Because I used that field earlier on this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. So car heat off. We're a little bit low. So effectively, we're we're up wind now. So you want to fly a circuit pattern around there. So power. Power back to idle, and we'll uh, glide. So, so now we are gliding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, trim for 75, and probably because we're a little bit low already. Um, begin your turn onto the downwind leg. So, talked about trying to pick a feature. Uh, so there's sort of a junction of, um, there's a, uh, a field with tracks running that way with one tree in the middle of it, or not quite in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah, yeah. So something like that I would have thought would be somewhere uh -huh. over there is a downwind type position. Uh -huh. 
position and then base leg something between the wood and the lake over there just the other side of the church uh -huh. I would would be my guess uh -huh. uh, this, this field is fine now yeah I'm, I'm using that field as my downwind leg for this one here so we're uh -huh. going into this one just under the wing now uh -huh. yeah so we want to be about 1500 feet sorry yeah, yeah 1500 feet over this field uh -huh. here with the, you see the one tree on its own yeah yeah right it, in inside yeah so if you turn downwind Uh, so you can see that actually with the sun in this direction you can see the pylons now Yes, I can't see you, yeah. Well still so we'll carry on round and we'll go round at a thousand mm -hmm. um, Well actually we can go lower than that, we'll, uh, we'll be below 500, but below a thousand feet anyway. You'll also. So, so Now we're turning again, is, it, is this yeah? Yeah you probably want to go a little bit further out I would have thought, so fly right I'd have thought round the church uh-huh, judge, okay. And look back at the field and see how we're doing. So there's this pond and uh -huh. the farm, that sort of thing. We're quite high, aren't we? So probably... Uh, you can see the... You know, with the sun shining on it, you can see the wires, and that would be quite make life quite difficult, wouldn't it? So, uh, mm -hmm. so it should be between. Yeah, we'll go around here before we get too low. So, uh, uh -huh. so yeah, full power and car peter away then. Oh no. Yeah, we'll go around now, yeah. yeah. So what I was trying to think, you see that one tree in the field over there? Yes, I see. So um, that was what I was thinking, you want to be about 1500 feet, so you're, you're halfway down, downwind. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that was... That's what I, I was trying to uh, explain. Yeah, this is the hardest part to see which field is better. It is difficult, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, tell you what, shall we? If you head back west, what we could do... Because um, I must admit, I, there were one or two fields that we found that we didn't end up use because they got sheep or cows or whatever in. We didn't really want to disturb the... Um, Livestock. Um. There's quite a big field over there. It's got a, in this corner, the nearest corner, there's that squat, like a rectangular um, trees, and then there's yeah. a few houses at the far yeah. end. So that would. That would be reasonable, it's not quite into wind, but it's fairly square, so you could sort of land diagonally across it. Uh-huh. So yeah. we're going to... Uh, so if you keep climbing... Mm -hmm. Wind, I mean, wind is coming from that direction, so... Uh, yeah, so it's going this way, downwind yeah. is this. Yeah, so downwind... So if we were landing across it, sort of over that funny circular bit in the field, yeah. in that uh -huh. field, we'd sort of be coming in that way, wouldn't we? Yeah. Um, so, your thousand foot point would want to be like sort of two, two or three fields back and one to the mm -hmm. right, so maybe that sort of wood, mm -hmm. just past the, the village, there's that mm -hmm. little village and then there's a, a bit of a wood, something like that, a thousand feet over that I would guess. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah. 
It's like an airfield down there, there's a strip, isn't there? Uh, uh, look at Sky Demon. Oh, so I can yeah, see might be. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh no, it's not that one. <laughs> Very similar, which me and Ian practiced. Not on Sky Demon. Okay, so should I turn? Yeah, I, yeah. So just position to and sort of fly, and then we'll fly a circle around it, or fly a circuit around it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not ideal because he'd actually be landing across the furrows, but I mean, it, mm -hmm. it, I mean, we're not going to land, hopefully. So yeah, uh, I see a bit of slopes this way going. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So. So if our final track took us over that circular bit, uh -huh. then we'd sort of want to be a thousand feet over. There's some, I don't know if there's anything particular down here, but there's a bit of yellow in this field, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So we are, we are going uh, circle again, yeah, uh, to get down to south. Yes. So. so what I'm trying to do is to pick some features on the ground just to sort of help you position the aeroplane. Um, village, maybe, or this circle? Yeah, the, the village would be, uh, so sort of outside the village, mm -hmm. put your downwind leg, because we're coming round to wind to wind now, aren't we? So there's that funny sort of, there's that rectangular wood just behind the village. Um, the, and, the there's that, one. Mm -hmm. and there's a white sort of triangle in that corner of a field behind it. But uh, I don't see triangle. Well, a white sort of a white thing on the ground. Yeah. Ah. Okay. A bit sort of. So. Uh huh. Something. Yeah. So somewhere over there, I think, would be quite good. And you want to be that, that that sort of downwind behind the village, over those trees, that sort of location, I think. Uh -huh. So, okay, so if we if we uh, bring the power back to uh, to idle now, and then we'll fly or we'll glide to uh, to that location. So trim for 75, and we've got. So we want to be sort of over that wood at about 2,000 feet on the QNH or 1,500 on on the QFE. Just vary your track depending on how you know how well the uh, how much height you've got, and then for the base leg, I'd think at the far side of that village, mm -hmm. and then you'd come in and your, your final approach is on sort of under the wing down here. Mm -hmm. Uh, just try and make sure you're keeping your field in sight because it's this one down here. You're coming in over that round sort of track. It's probably a, something to do with horses, I would imagine, isn't it? So just 2,000 feet above the ground now. So we've got plenty of height. We're actually quite quite high. So you may want to sort of extend your circuit okay. out a little bit. So now we are downwind again, so we should travel past. We'll travel further, yes, yes that's right. Yeah. Maybe we'll just give the engine a little rev just to sort of warm it up a bit for a few seconds. So looking back at your field, just keep that always uh, in sight so you know what you're aiming at.
probably we're quite high now, aren't we? So uh, yeah. we probably want to just do some turns to uh, lose a bit of height. Uh, you just need to be careful with uh, how much manoeuvring you do, and make sure you keep the nose down so you speed mm -hmm. you speed up. But the advantage of that field is that actually you can. Uh, you know, we can come in at a slightly different angle like that, and that would work quite well, actually. I think that was going to work. You may well end up, you probably want to put the flaps down, actually. Yeah. But we'll go around from here. We're 500 feet above the ground, so go around there. That's fine. I think we would get in there. So, yeah. car beat away and full power. No, I think that worked quite that worked well, actually, even, you know, just... Uh, visually really mm -hmm. yeah so it seems pretty enough time for flexibility to actually <laughs> maneuver you do yes you do have some yes yeah that's it just raise the nose a little bit so if you turn uh, and head west what we could do um, you aim for the tipping warden, the disused airfield with the cars parked on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, we should be able to re just about reach that, I think, shouldn't we? Because the, yeah. the wingtip is a bit past, so if you go back to idle, so idle power, steer towards it and uh, trim for uh, 75 knots and let's see how we get on. Now we're, we're going downwind, of course, this way. Uh, so it might be that you decide, actually I'll just have to accept landing downwind because I can only just reach, you know, I don't have time to do a turn into wind, possibly, and that's a, a compromise you might have to, uh, you might have to make, but... Um, but on the other hand, downwind, uh, you can cover more ground, so... Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I see only parking, but I don't see the actual uh, field. <laughs> well, I just meant land on, you know, uh -huh. sort of just to the right of where all the cars park, just in there, because we know it's fairly smooth because it's a disused airfield, so... Uh, uh -huh. It was just a tune to prove the point that, yes, we should be able to meet to reach it because... Um, uh -huh. Okay. And we can reach it quite comfortably, so in fact, probably, we're coming down to... We'd almost have a chance to fly a downwind leg and turn and land back the other way, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I'm trying to do some middle angle for not being too side. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just using it this direction we drift. Okay, down 1400. So it should work quite well if we... Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, there's several other fields that we could use around here, but... Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we did... Mo the, the point is that... that Gives you quite a good guide of what you can, of what you can reach. Um, so, oh yeah, we can go around from there. Right. I think they're just digging up the old runways. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to then reposition, and we'll go around to 500 feet then. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, if you were just doing a. Yeah, uh, I just did the engine. Function. Engine warm. Yeah. No, go in the... Yeah, obviously the runway's covered in cars, but um, yeah. land on the field to the left of the old runway that's, left I think, this, this side, side near it, near it okay, stuff. so I'll just do the turn soon. Okay. 900, 
going south, that should, there's Crowton, uh, there's Brackley, to Western is over there, Banbury on our right, so Hinton will be pretty well due south of us, I think. Or maybe... Yeah, it's interesting with the uh, yeah, okay. water voltage shield. Yeah, all the, uh, the, the uh, solar farm, yeah. So you don't need to climb any higher, we can, uh, we'll level off here. that you'd like to fly around. Um, Maybe this big... Oh no, it's not single field. Um, yeah, the field with the trees in the uh, in the middle, but there is a next field which seems to okay. be more or less massive. Okay. So we've got wind coming from our, the, the blue bug is on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the wind direction roughly, so. You see from, from this line of houses, there are two small fields yes. between two hubs. Yes. So you've taken the, the right next after the houses. Oh, okay. Uh, Seems to be clear and... Yeah. Yes, okay, that's fine. Uh, it's the railway actually, isn't it, I think? Uh -huh. You mean the railway along oh, here? Okay. So. Yeah, I did see it. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh -huh, but okay. It's Hinton here. Uh, no, that's Barford St. John. Hinton is just oh. under the wingtip. Ah, it's, a, it's another airfield. Yeah, it's a disused one. Oh, okay. uh, Barford. Yeah. But yeah, there's the, 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 the M40 motorway, the canal, and then the railway. Yeah, so yes. the next after railway. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. So what do I do now? Circle around? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. So, um... Uh, there is some pylons uh, on that on the, side. On the far side, yeah. yeah. Uh, but if we were going to land towards the south, uh -huh. and just accept that we're not quite into wind, because the wind yeah. is a bit from the east, so it's a bit of a crosswind there. So we're sort of on a, in a... We're flying upwind now, aren't we? Or we're in yeah. landing direction. Yeah. Now, they've been gone. So, Another field is better actually with the farm in the corner. I'll show you in a second. This one, right? Because it's oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, fine. Let's go with that then. 
but that one it's not the right uh, direction and there are okay. Well to be honest we're nearly back at Hinton so why don't we just do it over the top? Oh okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> Because it's just, can you see, it's just under the nose here. So by the time, we, as we were looking round, we may as well do it there and then it's, then we can do it all the way down. Okay. So we'll do it in Hinton. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you maintain this height and then we'll just fly on the right side of the runway into wind. Uh, right side. To, to be ready to do a, you know, a left hand circuit around the airfield to descend down. Okay, so it's behind the... Yeah. Traffic Golf Bravo, Oscar Romeo, Kilo, PA28, we're just going to position into the overhead to do practice force landing from uh, 2,500 feet, QFE, call it 065. over that wood, wouldn't mm -hmm. you? Something like that, about 1,500 feet, and then a base leg, 1,000 feet, I don't know, under the wing somewhere, yeah. I would think. Mm -hmm. So maybe that farm's too close, but something, uh, something under the wing. behind the wing, so yeah. probably before, or maybe that farm in that there's sort of square trees and some farm buildings just behind the trailing edge of the wing, so mm -hmm. that would probably work as a base mm -hmm. uh location I would think. Okay, yeah. well when you're ready. Force landing probably overhead, 406 hard. Yeah. yeah. So we sort of want to be somewhere over the uh, sort of over just to the right of that village really as a as a base leg. You just need to be careful not to get too close in, so that you've got to then take a very tight turn. Probably it will be too far this way because we already thirteen hundred. Okay. So on the, I think we need shorter base leg in this case. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the option is we can land on the grass, so we could land on the, the uh, zero 09 grass. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. But, you know, that. Yeah. 1 200. Yeah. Turn in base leg now. 1 1. Enter traffic off a kilo, left base for zero 06 hard. Okay. 
this for the grass, <laughs> I guess. Well, yeah, we'll see how... This way. We, yeah, if you were actually going to do it, you would way, go though. down there, yeah. so... Uh, okay, we'll go around from there, because we'll be in company finally of uh, running off the end. But yes, in the real world, you'd say, well, there's a nice... You can vary your uh, your position. So, uh,
circuit direction just to sort of descend down and you would call Hinton traffic Golf Romeo Kilo descending dead side. Hinton traffic Golf Romeo Kilo descending dead side. So just, you know, and then while you're here, you can look around, okay, where's anyone climbing out, anyone on crosswind, downwind, looking for the for the other traffic. And the aim would be to cross the upwind end of the runway on a sort of a crosswind leg at about a thousand feet. So we're a little bit high, but we can continue the descent. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would fly out on a crosswind leg uh, from there, so we can see there's no there's no traffic about. Mm -hmm. So nearly down. So pretty well. So you can look at runway heading should be that way. So we don't want to turn yet. So level the wings, level the wings, roll wings level. That's it. Yeah. So we're flying out on a on a crosswind leg, but we're just a bit closer in than normal. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. See. And we are now. Uh, and then you can look back and say tail planes over the runway, so we can turn downwind. Uh huh. And then into traffic, go for a mere kilo, downwind, left hand, 406. Into traffic, go for a mere kilo, downwind, 406. Okay. So, downwind, do your downwind checks. That's a bump pitch, that's a bump pitch, fill bump, carp, hit, yes. Yep, all strapped in, just some harnesses, yep. And then we're back to normal, just flying a normal circuit, so... Uh, and I suggest we land off this. this time about the length. <laughs> no, no, it's not it's not that bad to be it's honest actually. Uh, it it sort of looks shorter than it is because you've got the the hedge across the end really, but um So you can turn round halfway along, you don't have to go right to the end, but just give you a little bit more space but not that much to be honest.
brake a tiny bit, John, just to tighten the turn a little bit if you need to. We'll do the same thing, so uh, position it just beyond the this warrior, there's obviously those tyres on the ground we can oh, use to okay. uh, as the shock, so uh, just give yourself plenty of space, go past and nice big circle round. If you get too close you won't you run out of space to do the turn. Actually, uh, let's tell you what, mm -hmm. my mistake, let's go and refuel. So we'll put okay. some fuel in so it's ready for tomorrow. I don't know. I'd so we just need to get a bit closer, don't we, the last time? <laughs> No, <laughs> I liked it all. Um, okay, no, I mean you, your um, your flying is good. The tri you were pretty good at getting the the aircraft trimmed to the right speed, and your control is good. And I like the way that you increase the speed a bit when you mm -hmm. tight turn. So from a manoeuvring point of view, just you know when we were doing that, that was that was good. Um, so. I think, generally, you were tending to get too close to the field, so we ended up being too high. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was certainly, that was the case with the, when we did it over the airfield, wasn't it? We were, uh, mm -hmm. we were too high, but, you know, yeah. we can go and do a little bit more practice at some point, or do it with Ian or whoever. Um, and made it, um, so probably worth, practicing doing a glide approach from a thousand feet into the airfield so you uh -huh. sort of that you right down to the ground because it's obviously different when you're out in the countryside yeah. and you don't want to get too low because of obviously you know we've got low flying rules and so uh -huh. forth then uh it's a bit more difficult to judge isn't it but if you can actually fly right down and land on the runway so doing some glide approaches into the airfield i think will help that uh -huh. understanding where you need to be and how controllable it yeah can. yeah yeah because so, so far i'm quite reliant that if i too low i just put engine but yeah well yeah. is different yes i think 